Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Gary with Thickskinned RC, back for an update on the Red Cat uh, Crawler Projects. Uh, has morphed from the Red Cat Gen 7 IFS into the Gen 7 IFS, a built um, Gen 7 Pro, and a four wheel steering crawler based off of, I believe they were Everest 10 axles and a BPC uh, chassis. Not the same Gen 7 Pro chassis, but a different model. So um, so yeah, I've been busy. I know it's been a while since uh, any updates on the IFS project. Uh, once again, apologies on that one, but uh, I haven't just been sitting not doing anything on that one. Um, so first we'll cover the IFS project and then we'll get over um, into the other two projects. Um, do a brief overview on them and then we'll have some more videos and stuff on those coming up too. So. Let's get into it. So here is the Raptor body sitting on the roller that I picked up that is now being used for the Gen 7 IFS project. This one we'll talk about the most here because I think most of y'all probably want to see this one. Um, still going, still definitely going to be completed. It is taking a bit longer than anticipated. I might have had some other ways of doing it quicker, but a uh, brief overview, this was the initial plan for mounting the front differential. Differential sat too low, there were too many overhangs, not enough mounting options. Uh, I'm too clumsy to drill and tap into that thin of metal to add some more. So instead of hacking away at that, spending days on end trying to figure stuff out, um, I went through a few designs, there's actually one or two more. Um, trying to mount this differential in the front. This one here, um, as you can see, isn't too far off from these last two. It's pretty far departure from that first one. This first one was mainly just for getting spacing down, making sure, you know, mounts are in the right spot. Obviously, couldn't, way too thin, flexible to be used for anything there. Um, anyways, so I went ahead and finished up this design here, which while everything sits secure, uh, in PLA I wouldn't use this as like a U4 racer, but as a crawler it really wouldn't be a problem. Um, everything fits, everything's centered well. The bottom of the front diff sits about, uh, it's three to five, I think it's four, three or five millimeters um, lower than the skid. So technically, I still need to raise this up a few millimeters. Um, I want that to obviously be perfectly level. I'd be happy with a millimeter or two off. Um, but raising it much more, the steering linkage is going to be really close unless I slide the differential back forward. If I slide it back forward too much, then the top links here are going to start rubbing into the chassis again. So. I've got some thinking to do on that, a little bit of tinkering. Um, I, you know, worst case, maybe switch the steering over to more like the Yeti style with the, the crank down here on the posts. I don't know. But the priority um, is to get more clearance for the steering. The big issue I have now is using these mounts down here on the bottom of the frame this is rubbing. Now I could go, you know, maybe some flat screws, um, maybe shave a little bit more off of here, but any more I'm not too comfortable with the amount of material left for a 3D printed design. Um, obviously taking it somewhere for some metal would probably be a lot different, but some thinking to do. Um, I think the main thing is I need to stop using these, these post or these uh, holes in the chassis for supports in the rear. I think what I need to do is just lop this off here, leave a nub for the differential, and then just come up into the shock towers. So that would give me all the support I would need up top, uh, or on top of the differential, and then I can get to finishing up the skid for the bottom. Uh, the one I have now is not pretty, it's not contoured, it's basically just an angled plate that goes from these two mounts here down to these two mounts on the side um, just a beginning point but it would be enough to create a belly pan um, 
and help add some additional support to the back, uh, to the bottom, sorry. So still, still making some progress on this one, but um, definitely turned out to be a bit bigger ordeal than I was hoping. Fitting all of this in inside here is just really the problem. Um, but nothing I can over can't overcome. But I'm definitely open to suggestions. So y'all feel free to uh, to pepper me with comments. Um, call me a dummy. Hey, why didn't you think about this down below? And let me know. Again, open to suggestions on this one. Um, brief overview of the other projects that I'm working on or will be working on. This is going to be the four-wheel steering setup. Uh, this will be my Red Cat uh, competitor for the Wraith. Obviously, my Wraith doesn't have four-wheel steering, but um, if you got the parts, you might as well. This kind of all came in the process of getting parts from that one for this one, and a, you know, somebody selling a little package, a good deal on stuff. So, um, yeah, this is the initial Gen 7 that I had. That was wearing the Raptor body. It's now got different springs, um, different axles, different electronics, uh, ch different chassis mount servo plate, uh, different steering links in the front. Uh, um, so this one's got quite an overhaul, and it's, it's a heavy one now. Um, it'll go just about anywhere the uh, honcho will, pretty much with ease. Got a few more tweaks to make with it, um, but it, it's definitely... Definitely a competent crawler now um, with all those upgrades on it. So I'm going to do a separate update video on this one, just kind of go over the details. Um, and then this one will be coming later this year. I've got a bunch of other stuff to work on before I get to this. Uh, putting the Getting the body done for this one and getting this one done are my two priorities with this one being first. So I can always slap the Raptor body back on this one uh, when I want to take it out crawling so uh, yeah so I appreciate y'all watching I'm um, sorry again for the delay in the updates on the Gen 7 uh, IFS project but it's still chugging along you know um, I'm by no means a design expert I hadn't used any any design software really um, up until starting to do parts for this one so uh, doing a lot of the stuff in SketchUp now um, I cheat a little bit sometimes and use 3D Builder for quick edits on STLs just to see if a fix will work. But um, but yeah, so uh, hopefully, I don't know, I'm, I'm hoping to have the new design done on that one uh, within a week, week and a half, have it printed up two weeks tops. So look for another update on the IFS project. If that gets the uh, front differential, the spot where I want it, and clears enough room for the steering um, this thing should be able to start chugging along pretty quickly. So, yeah. All right. Appreciate y'all watching. Uh, remember to check us out on Facebook and Instagram if you haven't already. And hit that like and subscribe if you haven't. And if you don't want to hit that like, let us know why. We're always open to making the channel better. And we can't do it without hearing uh, what's wrong. So, thanks again for watching. Y'all have a good one.